f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 3. And I was going to divide it by a binomial x minus 3. I'm going to kind of go through again the steps. But then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to rewrite it using our, using our long division algorithm. All right? Or using our division algorithm. So what I have here is remember, first of all, if I was going to use long or uh, synthetic division, because that's where we're going to be practicing this class. For synthetic division, the main important thing when applying synthetic division, to um, use synthetic division, we have to make sure our divisor is in the form of x minus k. And when it's in the form of x minus k, the main important thing is that x is linear. Alright? Now actually you can have uh, you can have a coefficient of your x. That's okay. As long, if there's a value in front of your x, you can say ax minus k. But the main important thing is it's in the form, it's linear. So what we do is we take our k on the outside. All right? So in this case, you can say negative 3. And what we do when using long division is we take our divisor and we set it equal to 0. Because if this is a divisor, that means now we're going to find, or that's a divisor, that's a factor, now we're going to find the 0, which would be x equals 3. So you put the 3 on the outside, and then you create a nice little box. All right. Now, to apply synthetic division, we take the coefficient of each one of our terms in our polynomial, make sure our polynomial is in descending order, and that we're not missing any terms. If we are missing any terms, as far as, like, let's say we're missing x squared, then we need to make sure we put a 0 in there. But I'll have 1, 2, negative 4, and 3. So we just take the coefficients and line them up top. Now, the next thing we do, the, uh, the synthetic division algorithm goes like this. First term, you drop down. Just freebie. Then you multiply diagonally, add vertically. 1 times 3 is 3. It goes to the next row. Then you add vertically. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Add vertically. So therefore, in this problem, I have my quotient is 1, 5, 11, 36. Well, what does that mean? So when we do this is we write, first, here's my remainder, my constant, my linear, and my quadratic. And what this means is these are going to be my coefficients of my quotients, where 36 is going to be my remainder. All right? So what we can say is our quotient, our q of x, is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 11, where our remainder, which we'll call our r of x, is equal to 36. Now we already have our f of x, right? And our divisor, which is our d of x, equals x minus 3. So if I wanted to write this using our division algorithm, I could say that, remember our division algorithm is f of x equals d of x times q of x plus r of x. So in this case, what we have is, um, so we could say f of x equals d of x, which is x minus 3 times q of x, x squared plus 5x plus 11 plus 36. And does that make sense? Remember the five, remember 15 divided by 4? It's the exact same thing, ladies and gentlemen, but now I'm just applying, with, applying it with polynomials. It's the exact same thing. Okay? So you just need to understand your quotients and so forth. Now, what you guys learned last year